to do, wasn't it? Well, yeah, I did have sort of impulse to try and do all Doctor, so all kinds of Doctor Who ones. So it's actually as dark as we get. He is discussing double genocide after all, cheerfully with himself in the dungeon. But uh, he is. Uh, but you know, we also have complete silliness. He's, he's threatening a rabbit. <laughs> and, and I think the, uh, and I think you know, no, I, I wasn't exaggerating when uh, I said that uh, Matt and David are sublime together, aren't they? Um, that, that, that scene with the screwdriver, that meeting, was just. Uh... How was that for you, Matt? Because you know, David is a doctor who was also who knows as much about Doctor Who as Stephen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm like the sort of the black sheep of the family. <laughs> talking, there's that companion board. I don't know if anyone saw which which Jenna's on, and we were looking at it, and I sort of was like, "Who's that? Who's that?" And David was like, oh, "For God's sake, that's." Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was wonderful. Yeah, he's a lovely man and a wonderful doctor, and it was um, it's just nice that I sort of get to be part of that history of, of meeting doctors, I'm really pleased. And Tom as well, which is yeah. like, you, you can sort of see in that scene my genuine sort of like, school <laughs> <point. laughs> I think, I'm going, wow, actually it's just, it's, it's number four. So it was, um, yeah, really good. And I think, yeah, and I mean, it's just thrilling to see old faces come back in Doctor Who, isn't it? I think that's one of the great pleasures of the show. Yeah.